I don't think I want to comment on that. I think Senate, we, have, Senate, we, have, uh, you, we have given Senator, your fellow colleagues are in the Senate uh, continue with the proceedings. Yes. Why did you deem it fit to walk out? Uh, it's a very sad day for this country that uh, when the deputy president of this republic is indisposed and uh, send the lawyers to request for time so that when he recovers, he comes to appear before the Senate. And he has been here for two days. This is a very, very active uh, deputy president who is always in the office, who is always working. But he sat for almost uh, 16 hours yesterday. So probably something happened. And I want to take this opportunity to wish him a quick recovery. Because I was with him even at lunchtime. And uh, uh, he was okay. He was to come to the Senate. But when we got in there, we were told he had been rushed to the hospital. Now the question is, what is the rush with the Senate? We had tomorrow, Friday. We had even up to Saturday. Where do we want to conclude this issue today at night with the absence of the deputy president? Who is the accused? Who is supposed to uh, uh, present his case? And Kenyans have understood, have seen these as allegations. We have questions. We ask him questions. We ask him, tell us this. He says, I think, I don't know. I'm assuming, I imagined. So it is a sad day for this country because we believe that as a Senate, which is the upper house, we should be very patient, wait for the deputy president because things happen. You know, people are trying to portray it might be a trick. But remember how many times you're with your friend and you give the stories the next day in the morning. I was with him, he was laughing, and then he's no more. But we are saying the doctors are taking care of him, and he was willing, even if he was to come here in his hospital bed, he is willing to testify. So it is very sad uh, to see that um, the Senate is uh, in a rush to determine, even to determine the case without uh, listening to the deputy president. Uh, the deputy president. So what we are saying is that uh, Kenya has, uh, we, we have seen, we have seen how the process has been. We have seen how the deputy president has been treated, of course, being treated with allegations that are not able to be substantiated. Kenyans have seen. So it's up to now to the Senate to listen to the councils who have now been given 60 minutes to give their closing remarks. And those who have been given the closing remarks are members of parliament. They have taken over the Senate. The person who is speaking as we speak, or as I left the House, is Otienda Omolo, a member of parliament. There is another honorable member there, I don't, re I don't remember his name. They have taken over the Senate. So what we are saying is that we had gone well as an upper house. And I would implore to my colleagues, the senators, please, we should not crucify somebody who is in hospital, in his hospital bed, at least let the man stand up and allow him to come to the Senate so that we can listen to him. Otherwise, it is a sad day for this country. I don't know what they rush for, and I believe for them, uh, uh, the councils of the, of, of, of the deputy president will do what is necessary. And also as a senator, I will do what is necessary. You've you know, left the stage instead of fighting on. What is the end game in this? No, 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 no. I'm still fighting on. I was just walking out with the, the councils for the deputy president just to understand exactly what's uh, 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 going on. It's not, it doesn't mean that I'm running away. I am not afraid. I don't fear. I have to go back to that house and I have to make sure that I'm hard because I believe that uh, if we run away, we will also not be giving uh, justice to the deputy president. But... What I'm trying to say is that I do not understand what the hurry for. Why don't we want to see tomorrow? The members of parliament who are the National Assembly, they are sitting on a Friday, tomorrow. And they were expecting our results today. So that they can see tomorrow and execute a business that we do not understand. You know, we do not understand what they are planning. So the plan, and I wish this country can be efficient as they are with impeachment. You impeach somebody, and I'm telling you this, and I'm not a prophet. After we vote in that house, you will see a gazette notice at night. 
you will see somebody to be vetted by the National Assembly tomorrow in the morning. And you will see somebody being sworn in without following the due process of the law. So I am telling uh, my people and the country, let me talk to the people. I, you, you don't have to stop me uh, talking to the people. I have to talk. Imetosha where? Where? Who are you? Nini Metosha? Yeah. Okay. So this is what I'm talking about. We cannot even express ourselves freely in a country that expression under Article 33 is given by the Constitution. I'm told you, Metosha. Tosha what? Tosha where? That is where they want to quicken this process. They want to make sure that they kick out the deputy president. By the time he's kicked out, they bring another one. They go to the National Assembly. They vet one. Then they go swear them in. Is this a country that we have a constitution? Is this a country that we have a constitution that we passed in 2010? That is a question. But nevertheless, nevertheless, I ask everybody, especially Kenyans, be peaceful. Be peaceful and be peaceful. Thank you very much. Still, all is not lost. Do you have the numbers to defend Gashagua, the Senate? Because that's still a question. You have not voted yet. We'll get to know about the numbers when we vote. You see, there's so many people who are so painting as I am. And maybe they are not able to speak. But let's uh, cross the bridge once we get there. The concerns of bribery at the National Assembly, is it the case for the Senate? I do not want to anticipate or any make allegation that I cannot substantiate. But let me tell you, the investment is heavy. It is 